Welcome back. So in this class, we're going to add this um, this functionality of adding records or issues work on for our web applications. So let's go back to Atom. Um, let's take a look at the HTML file for our application and look at the um, the line here. Should be about line sixty, give or take. Um, so there's a button. Remember that add the new issue button. So it's basically saying. Um, on click is going to call this function in our JavaScript file at new issue. So let's take a look at what that function do. So let's go to worldpieceissues.js, which is our JavaScript file. Um, we're going to scroll down a little bit to task five. You should see um, it should be above five, uh, line 52 or so. Uh, so this is the function that that button is going to call at new issues. It's going to pull the, the values out of the first drop down box of uh, major, moderate, or minor. And it's also going to pull the text um, of the description field. Uh, and then it's going to pull the, the value of that uh, drop down box, whether the issue has been resolved or not. It's going to be yes or no. So it's also checking to make sure we put something in the description. So if it's blank, we're not going to do anything. Um, if yes, we're going to call out some code here to add. So this is where we add these values into our data tree in Firebase, right? Now, we have done this before, haven't we? We have done this in task three when we set up the database. Um, we try to put in two test records. So let's just reuse that code. Um, we can go back to our test path.js. You can either do it on the top or do it on the tree down on the, on the left. So, okay, so down below, remember in task three, yeah, we did the push, right? So we only need one of these because we're only pushing one record. So let's copy this block here, right click, and then hit copy. By the way, the change is not saved, so let's just hit control S to make that blue dot go away. So let's go back to um, the website's JavaScript file. So we need to paste that code here. So just select this line, and we're going to paste that code here. And we're also going to select it, and of course, we have to uncomment it. So let's hit, just hit Control forward slash. Now, of course, in that uh, code, we hard coded the value the values of the field, uh, description, resolve, and severity. Of course, we don't want to hard code these. We want to use whatever we pull from the, um, the fields on a web application. Uh, on the screen. So we save them in these three variables. So we need to change these. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you know how to um, just substitute what we hard coded with these values that we pull from the field, the fields on the screen. So go ahead and pause the video, try to do that. And when you're done, just hit play again. Welcome back. So um, it should be really simple. So of course, we um, for the description, it's just whatever we save at description above. And then for resolve, it's just going to be the variable resolved. Other quotes. Then minor, that's the um, severity. So we're just going to say severity. So basically, we're pushing a new row in the Firebase database uh, with the values that are on the screen. So let's hit Control S and see if it works. Control S to save the changes. And then we're going to go to uh, Chrome again. So we have to refresh. Um, remember, auto refresh only works for the data. It doesn't work for our code. So we're going to refresh. Um, so let's see. Let's put in something. Let's, let's change this to moderate. Let's just put whatever you want in the description. But you need to put something in there. It cannot be blank. I am a moderate issue. And then why don't we say yes in the result and see what happens. So we're going to hit this button. And you can see that it already, um, it just added a new row for us. Uh, we can just test a few more. We can do a minor, I am a minor problem. And then this time we could say no, and we'll leave it as, you know what, let's change it to major. We don't have any major issues. Hit add, there we go. We're gonna add all these, uh, we added all these new rows in our database. So let's check in uh, Google Firebase and make sure we actually added them in our data tree. So it, there you are. We added two new nodes on, um, in our tree of issues. So here you are. You just made the, uh, the add function works. So in the next task, we're going to see if we can uh, let the user update the resolve status. So, so we're going to have this as a drop down box so they can change it. When Let's say they fix this issue. I'm going to say, hey, it's been fixed and uh, update our database. So we're going to work on update in our next task. See you there.